Well, how do there, Chalmsters? I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chance for you guys in the viewerverse, I have some news. Some No Man's Sky news. I guess I do. So, Sean of the Murrays has been at it again, and he's tweeted something, people. He's tweeted something rather curious. So let's jump on over, shall we, and let's take a look at the old Tinterwebs. He's gone and tweeted, The emojis all made into a cowboy-type structure. And that, for me, that means that we could be getting an expedition. So here we go. Let's see what I tweeted out. So here we go. A kib and a cowboy. We did see this for Aquarius. Just keep that in mind. We did see this for Aquarius. Aquarius brought us fishing. It also brought us an expedition that centered around fishing. Could this be as big or bigger than Aquarius? I think it's got to be at least as big as Aquarius. I'm thinking maybe bigger. Maybe ARG part four. I keep having people say to me, Steve, what does ARG mean? It's alternate reality game. Inside of No Man's Sky, they've been dropping and alluding to little mini breadcrumbs inside a game that there's something coming around this void mother and perhaps the realm. We know inside of the game files that we've seen sort of purple star systems, so we know that's on the bake. We know it could be coming. It could be coming in this update. So the ARG part four is a, is a part four of three other parts that have come before obviously so the first part was echoes and singularity and i think fractal or another but it all built into the autophages coming into the actual verse and also the void mother being equally on par with that of the atlas so it could bring all sorts i've done lots of speculation around the void mother it's something that i mentioned quite a lot cowboy normally means there is an expedition this could keep us busy until the redux if there are redux this year you know, we, we, we don't know. We don't know whether there will be reduxes this year, but there has been every other year. Excited, at Sean Murray, is there a trailer? This is freaking mental, people. I'm thinking by the time that I've managed to render this video, I mean, this just kicked off 12 minutes ago, and I just fired up my PC like, right, let's quickly make a quick video. All right, I'm actually on my tea break right now. So yes, just had my tuck up of tea. Go seven captains brew. I guess. But this is interesting stuff. Now, yesterday, the sales hadn't started on PlayStation. They have today. OK, so PlayStation is now on sale, 60% off, putting No Man's Sky down to 15 99 16 quid licks. 16, 16, 16, right across all the platforms. 16 pounds, 16 pounds, 16 pound. There or thereabouts, you know what I mean? Or sixteen dollars or whatever. Anyways, this offer ends around the sixth of the eleventh, which is a day before the PlayStation Five Pro release. And when you look at the actual versions here, it does say PlayStation Five Pro Enhanced. I don't know whether I can make that any bigger for you. There we go. Yes, I can. There we are. PS Five Pro Enhanced. So that makes me wonder. Well, this comes out a day after, <laughs> after the sales. What happens if you're on PlayStation Five Pro? Do you buy it now? at discount and then when it drops at launch you've got it in your roster in your library does it include that i mean it looks like it does when you look at it so there we go people if you are getting the playstation 5 pro you might want to just go and buy this add it to your cart now because there could be a chance that you get the uplift from playstation 5 to playstation 5 pro for free obviously don't quote me on that i really don't know i'm i have no idea it almost looks like that's what you're entitled to from looking at this you know i don't know i'm not a sales rep for hello games or anything but there you go if you are getting a playstation 5 pro this is a freaking awesome game and at 15.99 that's a freaking snip i know that there's some some game manufacturers out there that are actually charging almost a tenner to get the playstation 5 pro uplift well you're nearly getting the full game for that that's freaking insane anyway is the sales happening for nintendo switch no, it is still 59.99s as of now. I'm going to hit refresh. Let's see if that does. No, nope, it's still 60 freaking quid on the Nintendo Switch. That's an expensive freaking game, isn't it, really? And I, I don't even think they've added in multiplayer yet. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments if you can actually play multiplayer yet on Nintendo Switch. But I think I think it is just single player still. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I have seen people visit bases on Switch. So who knows? Unless it's their own bases. But there we go, people. All done and dusted. That's all I've got for you. It's a very quick episode, people. I still think the update's going to happen today. I think it's going to happen today. I'm in the UK. The UK! Inside the UK, I think it's going to happen around 
2 p.m. 2 p.m. I think we should have the update by around then. Or if not the update, maybe the trailer by then. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's where I'm hedging my bets. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the update's not out by the time this video drops because I've got to render this, do a freaking thumbnail, get it over to my members, let them see it for a while and then put it live. A lot can happen in between then and now. A lot can happen. Anyway, you see there? You see the atlas? It's all falling apart. I'm wondering whether this was a hint. I'm wondering whether this image for Echoes, which was part one, is a bit of a hint as what's to come. I mean, it hinted at the autophages and that. But look at the atlas. It is clearly falling apart. There's degradation happening to the atlas. There's parts falling off of it. We haven't seen that happen yet. So there's only one part left of this ARG. I think it's going to happen in part four. Boom. That's what I think, people. Hold on to your seatbelts. And get locked in because I think a lot's going to be inside this update. I think this is going to be bigger than what I initially thought. But then at the same time, I've got Aquarius in my mind. Aquarius had the Gib, Aquarius had the Cowboy, and Aquarius was relatively small in what it actually brought for us to do. I mean, it gave us fishing, it gave us the skiff, it gave us a load of fish, but it was quite a shallow update. It didn't really make any waves, you know? Forgive the puns. But anyway, people, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.